bitch off the Remy like I'm Papoose. I just hit Angel going A to Z. They ain't fucking with the team, gotta pay the fee. Got what up, guys? It's your boy Angel Rodriguez, A to Z. We're here with another episode. Now we have two special guests from rockford they also are content creators on youtube you can should definitely take check them out at freaky fridays yep freaky, freaky fridays, fridays yeah. podcast yeah. so guys definitely introduce yourself man hey everybody it's your girl tasha Poino from the freakiest motherfucking podcast out of rockford freaky fridays and coming in as partner and co-host is your boy c love from motherfucking Freaky Fridays. Y'all already know what it is. Yeah, just like that, man. Tap it in. <laughs> e, man. All right, guys. Uh, usually for for the first time coming on to my platform, I like to go to the back, the beginning, the the origin stories of, of how you grew up, uh, where you grew up, and where you how your adventures until what you get what you got going on right now so whoever wants to start first where were you guys born oh shit i was born in chicago illinois ah shit you know um shy town yeah 52nd and federal um robert taylor projects which is no longer there i'm an old nigga i was born in the 80s 1980 okay um shit and, and what brought you to rockford man um, I came I came to Rockford when I got out of prison. Oh, okay. okay. I felt like ain't nobody know me here. You know what I'm saying? I wanted Could to start fresh. <laughs> I wanted to start new. You know what I mean? Just begin a new chapter in my life because what shit? I was what, 35? What, 18? Yeah, I was 35 when I came home from the joint. So, shit, I just wanted to be fresh and relocate and just stay under the profile. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my uh, some of my, cause I'm from Chicago as well, uh, South Side, 47th and South Hoyne. Let them know. Yeah, fuck <laughs> it. I we we came over here because my, <coughs> my cousins used to get in trouble over there, and they came over here to lay low. And then eventually, when I got older, my parents wanted to do the same for me. So yeah. that way I didn't get in trouble. Yeah, it was it was cool. You know what I'm saying? I came out here, um, and I just been out here. I, uh, do what any person do work you know what i'm saying just try to make a buck try to stay on my own but it got to a point where i mean i always been a hustler so i always found a way to make a dollar yeah. and um i enjoy working i just would, f would rather just to be my own i rather feed myself than depend on somebody else to feed me and um shit, we had the same mind frame and she, we linked up. Actually, we just fumbled with each other. Actually, goddamn it, she was working at a place, and I was a motherfucking customer. She was at working at the gas station. I was a fucking customer, and I was just coming there every day. Goddamn it, and buy blunt shit. Oh, we just oh, oh, yeah. it up. You know what I'm saying? And, you know what I mean? Under like a track of light repel. You know what I'm saying? When you got two people that's self-driven to accomplish something on their own. You know what I'm saying? You just link up and it mesh like water, and here we are. Kind mm -hmm. of like how we're together here now. Yeah, 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 dude. Yeah, that's dope. No, I, I thought you guys were like long-term friends or relatives or something, and you guys were like, nah. From He's a bad storyteller. I'll tell the story. I'll tell the story. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I used to work at a gas station, and like every day, like his bitch would come in and like get something to drink. So then one day he came in, and he was like, dang, like she seems cool. Like you should like have her come and like smoke with us. So like we used to chill all the time before, and then we kind of lost touch and uh, for a few years, and then we just seen each other and was like, hey, what you know, what the fuck is up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, you know, we have been you know back kicking it ever since then, and then um, I I had the YouTube channel already, um, and I kind of was doing my own thing, but I just felt like having a co-host would bring you know like another side to it. So I spent like a minute trying to decide like who I would want to come on with me, and I was like, this nigga funny as hell. Yeah. He talk hella <laughs> shit, like and yeah. you know when he I feel like when he comes in a room, he like commands the room. So I feel I felt like he would be a good co-host. Um, so I had him come on to, you know, try it out and, you know, it's, it's really been a hit ever since. So, yeah. Okay. But we got to bring it back, uh, Tasha. Uh, oh, you trying to, you trying to know the DD too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause, uh, yeah, man, where were you born? 
I was born here in Rockford. Um, okay. I grew up in South Beloit, so. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, my mom had a, you know, little dash from the police. Had to, oh. go, <laughs> had to go live with my granny for a little while. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, uh, I grew up there. I graduated from there. I went to college um, at SIU for a little second. And then uh, I dropped out of school. And, you know, now I talk about sucking dick online. <laughs> so, <laughs> here I am. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, now, did you move to Rockford after graduating? Or are you still out there? So forth? Um, I'm, I, I moved to Rockford for a little while, but I was like, mm -mm, it's ghetto here. <laughs> um, I got to go back with the white folk. Yeah, uh, so yeah, I yeah. moved back to South Beloit after that. But yeah, I, I stayed here for a couple of years. I said, not me. It ain't me. Uh, yeah. So, but yeah, now I stay up in South Beloit out, you know, out the way from everybody. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank Yeah. Thank you for coming, man. That's somewhat of a trip oh no i you know i used to work on the west side of rockford so like it's really it don't seem this like town small though i feel like every place you can get to every place yeah in this like town within like 20 minutes, minutes 20 yeah. 30 minutes top depending on traffic you know yeah what yeah I mean? that's true and i feel like that from like rockford to Malloy, 20 minutes right yeah <laughs> now uh tasha what made you want to start a youtube um so Okay, I started in OnlyFans at one point because, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, you break up with somebody, you be like, I'm going to be on my whole shit. Yeah. I said, well, then a bitch might as well get some motherfucking money. So uh, I started in OnlyFans, and on there, I was like, I wanted to, like, actually talk about shit, but, like... Mm -hmm. Niggas only want to see titties and ass. They don't yeah. care about your mind on yeah. there, which yeah. I understand. Um, so I was like, let me just start a motherfucking YouTube channel. Well, well I, I started out talking about like current events and like celebrity gossip and stuff. <laughs> and like, you know how everybody starts doing makeup <laughs> tutorials and shit. Yeah. Um, but then I was like, man, I really like talking about fucking. <laughs> so <laughs> so I was like let me start my little show um I called it what pillow talk yeah it was pillow talk mm -hmm. yeah, yeah so I would just like bring people on and we would talk about their sex lives and stuff but then I was like I think that it would be beneficial for me to just have a co-host instead just in case for one you know if i can't find a guest i'm not left as you know the one man show yeah cause, so. uh dude that's hard man what, <laughs> you're, just being yourself on camera with nobody else to like go back and forth <laughs> yes. i feel like it's challenging it, it can be done and some people can do it it's just if you don't have that personality it's gonna be hard and like i'm not like i'm not a comedian i'm just like i'm funny in conversation so yeah, like yeah. that's why i'm like i need a, <laughs> a number two <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and now was it easy to get on no was it easy to get people to come on your your uh, pillow talk like did you mention right away like hey did you want to do you want to come on to talk about sex or was it like hey come on to my platform and then you hit him with the let, let's talk about fucking <laughs> <laughs> well um okay so i don't know that many people first off so like when i do post about my stuff if it's usually a person that i'm asking to come on has seen that like what i post and what kind of content i post so um so that being said yes it was difficult to like have people come on and be willing to talk about their sex life and things like that and it still is um but i try to just tell people that like I try to gauge the person I'm talking to. So maybe if you're married, I'm not going to talk about, you know, bitches that you've been fucking or, mm -hmm. you know, things yeah. like that. I'm going to try to talk about your relationship and try to take lessons from that instead. Okay. Yeah. And be like less on 10. Cause I, <laughs> <laughs> bitch be on 10 sometimes. User friendly. <laughs> Take the user friendly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so. Now, uh, what about you, man? Like, w was it easy for you to talk about sex right away, or you, you think? I mean, with me, anything easy to talk about, cause I'm just that type of person. I don't have no bounds. You know what I'm saying? I give everybody respect, but in real life, you know what I'm saying? You get older, like this shit really happened, and everything is up for discussion. Anything we talk about, if you got the right mind frame. So I tell anybody that meet me 
I'm an acquired taste. You either like me or you don't. Either way, I don't give a fuck. Like okay. it's no, I'm not gonna lose sleep over it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I ain't gonna bullshit you. What you see is what you get. I'm loyal, and if I say it, no, I say I'm, I'm gonna say it the best way I could possibly say it. I don't mean to offend, but if I do, just let me know, and I don't cross that road again. But shit, I could talk about anything. I don't, I don't mind, cause every, I feel like I say what the average motherfucker really want to say if they just gonna be real. Like most me, cause you know a lot of me ain't like. Like, nah, I ain't with that shit. I don't be doing that shit. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah. me, I'm like, come on, like, as a man, I'm like, certain shit I ain't gonna like do, but yeah, I'll be, I be with this shit. Like, I'm gonna be real. Like, niggas be with this shit, like, type shit. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, yeah, it was, it was, it was cool. I was honored that she asked me, you know what I'm saying? I was definitely humble because I like to play the background also. Like, I'm an outgoing person. I like people, but I'm private. Mm. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. I'm definitely a private person. I don't really. If I don't like nobody in this, y'all ain't fucking with you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Uh, a little bit about me, guys. Just because I do this podcast and you see me talking to these people and interviewing them, doesn't mean I'm always social. I definitely yeah. like to have my own <laughs> private time. Bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, but yeah, the outside of that, like, I was, like, I do, I was in the other things. You know what I mean? Ripping and running. Always, It was always a thought, like, damn. I should get on motherfucking YouTube and just show motherfucker how we was cooking in the feds. <laughs> you know what I mean? The type of food and shit we yeah. made in the feds is like a And niggas really blew up like, on TikTok. I'm niggas cold. really blew up on TikTok from showing people that. <laughs> I'm yeah. cold as fuck with that microwave, goddammit. I did 17 years in the feds, so I know what the fuck I'm doing. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah. it was always on my mind. And then, like, my kids. They be like, yeah, pops, you should do that shit, cause this shit good as fuck. Like they had their friends come over, like, yo, this oh, shit really? This nigga can make pizza out of tortilla shells. Watch this shit. Oh shit, yeah, dude, <laughs> hell yeah, dude, yeah. <laughs> cause bro, you'll be surprised who. I mean, I, I can't say that everybody in Rockford is gonna fuck with it, but bro, yeah. you have the whole world. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, my yeah. mom's prison specialty was prison potatoes. Them prison meals be hitting different. Ooh. You don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> so like and like right now, like my, my kids is like adults, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And they had called me like, hey pops, like, man, make that jail shit, man. I'm gonna come <laughs> over tomorrow. Like I've been wanting that shit. I'm gonna bring my homie with it because I was telling them that shit hit. So that was really what was on my mind, but I was doing so much different shit just to, you know what I mean? create my lane which still be under the radar so to speak and like I said we was rapping and she asked me and I was like hell yeah fuck it let's let's do it like shit I love talking I love pussy so fuck it it's easy yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I want to ask you were you a chef before you went and got locked up or hell no I was a hustler I sold dope <laughs> <laughs> hey that's somewhat of a chef <laughs> <laughs> that's you know what I mean but then who taught you, bro, or, 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 or did you learn on your own? Nah, I learned on my own. Like, you know, I'm living here, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta make it I got to gotta be able to feed myself, you know what I'm saying? And I, I had a cool celly, and I like certain shit that I didn't know how to make. I'd be like, damn, Joe, how you make that shit? That shit look uh, good as hell. Okay. And a motherfucker be like, man, you do it like this, I'm sh bet. You know what I'm saying? And I just perfect, put my own little flavor to it, my own little jazz. And that's how I actually learned how to cook any. Like, I, lo I do like to cook. But you put it in front of me, I might not know what the fuck go in it, but I bet you you're going to say this shit good as hell. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's cool, man. Shit. Um, when you guys started the YouTube, well, when you guys started to do the podcasting, the Freaky Fridays, uh, were people fucking with it right away? Or did it, is it taking time for people to catch on? It's taking time. <laughs> it's definitely taking time. Some people, some people, some people did fuck with it right away. But those yeah. people that did fuck with it right away, those were people that was close to us. Right. Mm -hmm. So it was like it was it, they was happy to see like damn y'all work well together y'all yeah. think well the, the chemistry great together y'all funny as fuck you know what I'm saying y'all be talking about real shit but outside of that like it does it has you know what I'm saying been slow mm -hmm. but you know with anything. It start off slow, but it pick up. Oh yeah, bro, guys. Yeah. guys uh, I don't know if you know, but uh, I'm about to hit my second year, June eighth. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's big shit. Yeah. I would just you know like to say that um, I watched some of your other interviews, and I just want to give you your flowers that you are. You're a really good interviewer. <laughs> well, yeah. thank you. Thank you're you. You're welcome. But it, guys, trust me, I was horrible. Like I didn't know what the fuck I was doing at first. So definitely go to the very first 
interview, bro. Oh my god, it was so horrible. <laughs> <laughs> but um, again, yeah, it takes time. It takes time. Like again, I'm going on my two years. Some of it is good. Some of it's not. You know. Yeah, yeah it, takes it, time. it definitely does. And like I said, um, you know, like I just I started out doing shit on like OnlyFans. So like, I've slowly been progressing and trying to become better at for one speaking because the so's and ums and likes they come up a lot. And I try not to do that, but like I'm trying to get better at speaking and also being a better interviewer um, because at the end of the day, I do want to start having more guests on on our show. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I want to be able to give our audience like as much of that guest as I can, you know, get from them. Yeah. So. Yeah, because uh, well, I mean, nah, like a guest doesn't really matter as long as you guys just keep doing your thing. Eventually people will catch on to that because you can have a guest right but that sometimes won't matter you know See, especially if, if they I, I dig what you say like if they're not engaging if right, they don't yeah. you know what i mean if they just kind of blah yeah. you know what i'm saying we have we have we have read into a couple couple of blah people like <laughs> uh you know what no, we just not going to do yeah. this one right now we just, go, <laughs> we just go ahead and do us we just go you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah but i just want to like i was saying like as far as like getting as much out of each guest because i do want to start having more impactful conversations instead of just like the silly like ah yeah fuck this nigga like i, I want to talk about more serious stuff too like um oh, yeah rando but if anybody out there is like an advocate or somebody that is a survivor of sexual assault i would love to have you on the show if you feel comfortable but um yeah i do want to start having more serious conversations like that um yeah dude uh now that now that topic that one's a like a tricky one to get into yeah and that's why i want to like take my time make sure that i ask the right questions i have you know something in the works that i'm a little passionate about coming up soon so um yeah you guys stay tuned for that because uh Dang. People got really hot when I was talking about a certain aspect of it, so I felt like it might be, you know, good to like educate people on it. Opinions okay. is like asshole. Everybody got it, man. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The thing is, like that. That's why, like, a lot of people can't have. I don't even indulge in certain conversations with a lot of people because I understand that my point of view is my point of view based off what I have experienced in a yeah. life and what I've been around and what I've been exposed to. Not to say that it's automatically 100% correct or wrong, yeah. but I am open to learn. But I also, I'm a real logical person. Yeah. So you can't come at me with, if it don't if it don't make sense logically, I'm not finna like, oh, you know, I ain't even finna entertain this bullshit. Yeah, yeah, you know dude, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So it's like um, a lot of people get in their feelings when you try to have difficult conversations. And when they get in their feelings, they don't, they thinking or processing or understanding. Yeah. It don't, it don't, because the only thing they working off is how they feel. But sometimes what you feel don't matter. <laughs> you know, you, are, you, 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 I feel like you, I, you, you know, see so your feelings, they matter, but they don't matter under certain context. Yeah, yeah. It's you know what I'm saying? Like it's okay when to somebody feel. says like, oh, I'm not racist because like I didn't mean to be that way. But just because you don't mean to be a certain way doesn't mean that you're, you know, it you're didn't not. come off that way. Yeah, exactly. yeah. It's, it's quite obvious that, you know what I mean? Right. But well, my philosophy is this too as well. Like, shit, any motherfucking white person over 60 is probably racist because that's the time and era in which the fuck they grew up under. I'm mad, you know what I'm saying? Because just look at it like my mother was born in like 59, 60s. You know what I'm saying? What well, they killed Kennedy in what 67. Holy they were still burning niggas and hanging niggas. And they killed the president for trying to integrate with black people, you know what I mean? So it ain't that it ain't it ain't been that far. It goes yeah. both ways too. Because <laughs> yeah. like the old old, old people black, in general yeah. are can be a can little racist. Because yeah. of my aunt before she passed away. I remember vividly my friend, um, my cousin's friend that lived down the street, he was white. And they used to hang out like real tough so like uh, he came to the house the one day and she was like mm -mm, boy get that goddamn white devil up out my house <laughs> Ooh, i said oh yeah shit. yeah <laughs> oh the people don't you know what i mean it is it's going to it, it's, it's just one of the like I, I enjoy it because i just like you know you cannot say that it doesn't happen like it's proven but for the closed-minded individual to act like it doesn't exist it didn't exist 
how they trying to write it out of school, but at the same time pass laws up under the table. Yeah. What people don't know, I just feel like, you know, it's crazy. But other than that, I just keep it to them. I like to keep it light, you know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like if it don't <laughs> directly affect me, like don't everything affect if it don't directly affect me and what I hold dear, I try not to focus on it because I'd be like a fucking what they call it, a fucking monkey taking chasing his tail, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Running okay. around in a circle. Mm -hmm. If every if I if you draw off everything, you know what I mean? So I don't. Yeah, guys, uh even though like you get bad opinions from people, I always always like look at them and just get what you can from them. The positive stuff. Yeah. Obviously, obviously, if somebody's just talking shit, ignore that. But like, if somebody's just giving a bad opinion on something, just pay attention to it. Grab, grab from it, from the positive. Like, okay, maybe, maybe do this better or something, mm -hmm. you know. But sometimes opinion. They don't. They don't matter at all. Yeah. But but it's good to learn from. Them. I yeah. do learn from it. I do say like I understand when a motherfucker is talking shit. Yeah, exactly. Because sometimes I might be in my like I don't want to hear what the fuck you saying right now. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Then in the back of my mind, I'm like, hey, you're saying some real shit. But once I get <laughs> out my feelings, I be like, yo, my man, you was right. Yeah, I was right. You know what I mean, yeah. type shit. And I make those necessary, like you said, those make those necessary changes. Or you know what I'm saying, no, if you know better, you do better. But. I know the difference, so if you got a fucked up opinion and you don't bullshit, I'm letting you know when you come to me, eat a dick. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care about negative comments because I'm like, bitch, you still watching my shit to talk shit. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. So, pff, the fuck do I care? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was going to say, guys, do you ever get like some wild ass comments? Because the, the shit you guys talk about, man, is wild. Especially the. <laughs> what's that segment you guys do where like you guys read off like the weirdest stuff? talk about that fucking teeth shit. <laughs> am I wrong for that? Yeah, am I wrong for that? Oh yeah. my God, you got. The, oh my. Are these real? Yeah. Um, oh some of, some of them are real. In the beginning, uh, I would just kind of like make them up, but now we have more people like sending us stuff. Oh but, my God. Yeah, pe people be wild. Yeah, people be on some wild. <laughs> like to know the motherfucking dirty dick inside their closet. Yeah, it'd be some <laughs> shit, man. It'd be some <laughs> shit. <laughs> And I be wanting to say who it be, but I be like, oh, don't, don't, and I be having don't, to catch. Don't. I know I be having to catch myself sometimes too. Like, well, it, uh, uh, well, you know, my man, you know, but yeah, uh, it do be some, <laughs> some shit. <laughs> I know, dude. Like, I mean, obviously, I never gone through none of that wild shit, but, but dude, man, to know that there's wild shit going out like that, bro. Yeah, like uh, makes we, you want to be careful. For you. It's fucked. For, <laughs> FBI. Cause you never like you never you never know, and then. With the MR wrong for that type of, with that shit, that shit really, it'd be like anything, you know what I mean? Like, you might experience road rage on a motherfucker, just want to know, am I wrong for that? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This was the situation, you know what I mean? This how I reacted, goddammit. But, yeah. but in the but, bedroom, you'll be surprised, like, some people shit. People really be, like, trying to keep shit on the low. Like, the last episode, um, I actually took that from... Um, uh, Angelie's new radio show, Way Up. Um, somebody had called in and was saying that like her boyfriend had like been fucking around on her for like five years. So Holy she was shit. like, she was like, I could still be with you, but I need to have a whole phase. So she was like, took six months and like fucked twenty dudes. I'm like, bitch, you better get it. You better get it, and your man fucked up because if he if. He can't be mad about that because he probably fucked more than twenty bitches over five years. Yeah, dude, five you know? years. <laughs> that's a good goddamn it, month worth of motherfucking work. Man. <laughs> but that's what I be saying, like, with, like as a man, I, I speak like I try to be that real voice to a man because a lot of niggas look at a female body count. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, oh, she a hoe. Like my nigga, we fuck the same way. Like or everybody, more. you know, what I'm saying? or more. Like let's be let's be honest. So everybody got. They motherfucking dirt. Is they is they clean right now? Is they is you fucking with them? You know what I'm saying? Like just cause cause I done ran across some chicks that ain't suck my dick, but I know some niggas that say she got a top on it, and I'm like, damn, maybe I just ain't get You're that right. from her. Maybe mm -hmm. I ain't bring. All you know what I'm saying? I don't try to dog walk a motherfucker, nothing unless they just being disrespectful or sometimes. Only time I probably get disrespectful with a woman, and I'm just being one it. Well, I feel like, am I, matter of fact, can we do it? Am I wrong for hell on here right now? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Shit. I want to know. Only time I get disrespectful with one, I want to know, am I wrong for that? For when women walk out the crib, they know what they put on. They know that ass out. They know that pussy mm -hmm. sitting out there. You know what I'm saying? So you're wanting attention. You know what I mean? By you want, so it's either 
in that attention, you decide they're going to be a positive or negative. But anyway, you know, recognize it's your body, your right to look how you want to get. But you also out here looking for attention. So if, yeah, the right right nigga, if the right nigga say, hey, how you doing? And when you turn around and look at him, if he seem like he put together on a nice car, you're going to speak back. You ain't going to be like, oh, man. But if, you, if I ain't, you know what I mean? Because a lot of times you catch me on the street, I be looking bummy. But my pockets ain't though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I love dressing bummy, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, so you be like, hey, uh, what the fuck you talking to me, old bummy? Like, yeah. shut the fuck out of here. Like, real, real shit. Like, you all right, but you really ain't that. You know what I'm saying? And that's when I, I want to know am I wrong for that. Because I be like, man, your pussy probably this time again. Anyway. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't think you're wrong. Like, no. I don't think you're wrong for saying that women want attention. Because, I mean... When I look good, I feel good, I know I look good. And I said, I know that nigga looking, but it's certain attention that bitches don't want. And some bitches do mm. act stank, but like it's certain attention because like you, you you turn a nigga down and he be like, oh, bitch, you ugly as but fuck. I'm, I'm not even saying my approach be all like, like, oh, shit, shorty, you think it's hell? Come in with your. It's be a simple, man, hey, how you doing? Mm -hmm. I'm like, Damn, you know, really, I was really like, because sometimes I've seen chicks and I really was just speaking, you uh -huh. know what I mean? Just being a regular, you know, nice person, you know what I'm saying? How you doing? Keeping it pushing up. Oh, 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 ain't nobody really at you like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, slow your raggedy ass down. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. You bottom feeder, trout mouth <laughs> ass. Oh, that's what I Because <laughs> I feel like you looking for something like, I'm, like, it happens. Like, because a man really can't imagine. Just imagine as a man. If a female just stuck out of just to say, you know, excuse me, I know I don't know you, but the way, you know what I'm saying, you, that outfit matching with them kicks, my nigga, you fly today. Thank if you. If a nigga say, oh, bitch, get out of my face with that. It's going to be like, damn, nigga, like, so when a few, so if you mean, it's like, excuse me, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know you don't mean no disrespect, but yeah. the way you rocking that eye shadow when I see you pick them colors up in them sneakers. Beautiful, baby. Have a good day. Oh, oh nigga, day. like, damn. Yeah. Like, I'm just trying to be, you know what I'm saying? What do you think? Noticing the small shit. But, but if a nigga, if a nigga yeah. acted that yeah. way, yeah. bitches be like, these puss ass, whole ass bitches. Yeah, yeah. But I, I definitely been there, bro. I definitely been there where I try to compliment or just say hi to a girl. And I'm not the best dresser. <laughs> dresser and then she thinking, I'm, I'm, she thinking like I'm trying to fuck or trying to flirt. But it's just, just I'm, I'm just trying to be kind. Hello. Of, yeah. Yeah, yeah, hello. Yeah. Just be a human being. <laughs> but the, the reason why I say that from my uh, situation is because I have a girlfriend that I've been been with for ten years. Okay. Yeah. You got your little decade under your belt. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So that that's why I say like you know usually when I'm just trying to be nice and girls like think I'm trying to flirt. Yeah, it'd be offended because yeah. I'm like, shorty, I got a whole like I'm really not at you. Like I got a whole like I'm I'm good where I'm at. Like, I ain't I'm gonna just, lie, I'll hello. be jumping to conclusions too, cause I'll be like, oh, that nigga looked in my direction. I know he wants this ass. <laughs> I know he wants this ass. But just like cause I, I say that cause in my younger days I've been in positions where I might have been bummy and seen a chick and she ain't give me no play. And I was just saying hello. Mm -hmm. But then I go to pop out. The motherfucker might catch me and I'm together. Fresh cut, fresh shade. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Back Cock then, hoes didn't want me. And, now and I'm hot, hoes like, all alone. Oh, who is that? Oh, is that the same dude? Mike Jones. Like, well, damn, I thought he was a bum. And I'd be remembering that shit. Yeah. And I, I, I'll be like, I'll, get, I'll do the whole talk, laugh, joke, flirt, all that shit. And then turn right around and be like, nah, baby. Like, I'm that <laughs> nigga that you just waved off. Like, move <laughs> around. Just because you think it, it ain't that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but, uh, <coughs> what was I going to say? Dang, I lost my train of thought. I know, man. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. So, like, no, I do feel like bitches, like, sometimes do act stank. Like, I like girls, and I also, like, I like girls, you know, sometimes. But, um, I also like to just compliment women, because I feel like as bitches, we all need to lift each other up. Yeah. Let one bitch lift the next bitch up. But, I have been in situations where I'm like, oh, my God, you look so pretty. And, like, a girl just be like. Ugh, like that specifically Ooh. happened to me one time but um yeah and i was i was a little hurt so i can see how niggas would feel like that but um i, I do i do feel like niggas need to bring it down because um getting rejected and sometimes you don't even got to reject a nigga in a mean way for him to be mean as because fuck. men are always the one that's being rejected tell me when a woman has been rejected I tell me when you, all the time. No, like, tell, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? I mean, but like on a percentage wise, like on a percentage wise, right? It's more men that's going to approach women versus women approaching men to go out. True. So a man always like I'm all 
fuck what the fuck is what the fuck is the use? You then when you get a certain age, like shit, this is where she gonna say is no. But do but it's like a y'all a lot, excuse me, a lot of young motherfuckers, they don't know how to take that. No, because it's like yeah. damn, I mean, it's like damn, I'm tired of getting shot down that you really ain't you I have would it. just like to say bitches don't really get rejected because niggas will fuck anything. Most niggas mm, will fuck anything. Mm, mm. Mm. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, sure. But also, I will say within the first three minutes of any interaction with a female, she gonna know if she gonna fuck you or That's not, my fact. nigga. That's a fact. <laughs> Understand that within the first three minutes of any interaction, a female has already determined whether she's gonna give you that pussy or not. Niggas talk they self out the pussy. Learn to shut and the I'm fuck a, up. I'ma keep talking to this nigga too, even if I'm not gonna give him the pussy, cause he gonna buy me something to eat. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> he gonna feed me. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, that's that's just how I feel about it. Like, like niggas, I don't know. I feel like it's easier to like as a bitch to come at a dude than it is for dudes to come at females because I feel like nine times out of ten, niggas not gonna turn you down. And also, like, if you're a bitch like me back in the day, I used to just text a nigga and be like, "Let me say it." So you know, and that well, worked. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. What? I never had that happen to me, dude. <laughs> like, and, if, and if it did, I would be like, wait, wait I think this is a subtle. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's my first thought. Like, is you playing? You trying to set me up? Then I'm going to be like, for real? What's you know your what address, like, bitch? Let me you know see what's saying? up. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. But also, though, women, those women who do approach men, mm-hmm. I know for a fact, um, they take rejection much worse than a man do. Really? You think so? Yes. Let a woman get the courage enough and brave enough to say, excuse me, you're a nice looking guy. I want to know if you're single. You know what I'm saying? Can I take you out? And he'd be like, yeah, I'm single, but shorty, for real, you really ain't my type. Shorty finna. Hey. I'm about to have a mental breakdown, so I need to talk to my therapist again. That's, That's You're probably right about that. You know what I'm saying? Shorty going, what, nigga? <laughs> you feel what, nigga? Like, I, what the fuck? Me? Fuck? You don't you know I mean? You don't want nigga, I'm me. probably the best. What is it? It's going to be way, most, like, men, we we know we learn how to handle that. Yeah. Want to go on a Take. date? Yeah. You be my girlfriend? No. Yes, no, maybe. You remember? We learn, not, we learn young to take rejection. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I definitely, it took me a while to, to uh, accept uh, rejection, but after a while, man. That's just like whatever. Oh well, yeah. Somebody, yeah. But because I, I, it's all go. It really go down to self worth. Mm-hmm. I don't trip about things, you know what I'm saying? Because I know what I bring to the table. So if you reject me, you know what I'm saying. I'm not single, but if I was single when I shot my shot at a female and she rejected me. It's cool. It ain't the first time I Deuces. heard it, but I promise you, <laughs> you fucked up. <laughs> yeah, dude. you know what I'm saying? Because I know I know what I bring to the table. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I and that's that's how I choose my mate. Like I choose my mate the same way. Like I I have my eye on like my 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 girl. Like when I spotted her, I spotted her, but I ain't shooting my shot. Really? Nah. Did you wait? I waited. I waited because I watched. To see if any if any man was on her. With somebody on her, with her, how she react when a motherfucker shoot they uh, shot. You know what I'm saying? Is she a chat? You know what I'm saying? Do she like the attention? I watched her. You know what I'm saying? Like not no stock and shit, but I just you know what I mean? I, I just watch. You know what I mean? If you got a nice looking female around dudes, different individuals gonna try to shoot they shot. Yeah. But when I spot I'm mm, yeah. Like I'm a, and I already knew. Like once I see something I like, is yeah, I'm gonna get that. Mm. But I just watched her for a while. You know what I mean? And then when I and when I did cut into her, I was tight. I was tight with everything. Mm-hmm. I'd be like, yo, let's go to dinner. And she and, and, and be like, we're going to go Dutch, though. <laughs> um, you know what I'm this Just is actually Pizza relax, Hut. So. Would you like to place an order? You know this and is I not won't, Tasha's phone. And, and I won't. And I won't even. I wasn't even like, Yo, where we gonna go? Like, shit, what you like? And she like, man, I love Red Lobster. Like, shit, I fuck with the two of the best kids, right? Yeah, Red Lobster. Let's rock. But you know what I'm saying? We gonna go Dutch though. And I could have covered it, but I just want to see like, I right, now she 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 talking with me. Now she talking with me because she vibe like she. I caught her eye, or she trying to see if I got it. You see what I'm saying? So I wanted see, to see. But that's not I, cool though, because how you gonna try to test her and you approach her? And I'm not going no motherfucking reason, Dutch if a nigga approaches why, me. The reason the reason why the reason why I did it like that is because I'm careful with who I let in. Because when I love, I love. 
So I send myself through a rhythm and roll when I just automatically open myself up and allow somebody to jump in me. You know what I mean? And then that's the, you know, it's the other nigga on the line or this nigga on the line. I'm like, damn, shorty, I thought we was that. And I'm looking like, not to say I'm not, I understand the emotions and feelings when you, you know what I mean? And I know me. So I know when I give when I when I tune in with a person and lock in, you would never gotta worry about shit. Like see all that shit he's talking about, no. If that nigga <laughs> comes at you, if that nigga approaches you, and bitch, if you approach him, you should pay for dinner. But if you approach me, I'm not paying for dinner. I'm sorry, I'm just not going to because like you're the one that wants me. And what the fuck I'm gonna invest my little bit of money in you for and I don't even know if I like you. I'm just giving you a chance. That's how I feel about it. Fuck what he talking about. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, but you'd be surprised how many women do it to men. Yeah, a lot. Women do it to men because they feel like, well, you know what? I'm gonna go on and bust my half. Because if I don't bust my half, I don't want you to think that I'm obligated to give you some pussy. You see what I'm That's saying? A fact too. So you you got to look at it. If you want, okay, so if you don't, if you if you want me to pay, so when I pull up to McDonald's and say you want this motherfucking number four super size, don't be like, oh, you're a broke ass nigga. I'm gonna get that motherfucking nigga. super size you know to eat that motherfucking meal and not like, oh, text you back. You can't <laughs> me up. But you won't planning on giving them no pussy. We just creating the vibe. So why would I go spend a couple hundred dollars on you? And you, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you gotta so so in order to play or to eliminate all the games. All the bullshit as a mature mind, I just watch and then I present it. Yo, as we talking, you want to still get to know each other? We wanna, would, you, would you like to go grab a bite together or you want to go grab some coffee or something like that together? You know what I mean? Like, we can go we can go half, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't want you to think that I'm expecting nothing for you if I pay. And most women, when they hear that, going to say, damn, yeah, I could do that. Because they feel like now nah, they free and obligated, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. you figuring what? If I know if I go and you eat this motherfucking $70 steak. And yo, you know what I'm saying? That <laughs> that's the free inside of the menu, and I'm finna fucking get my dick sucks out of the menu. Choose wisely. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm just like. Um, so if a man if a man came with that energy, a woman and would told be me that that I I don't he wants to go half, so I don't feel like I gotta give the pussy up to him. Um, realistically, uh, if a dude came to me like that I wouldn't be upset about it but I would also feel like if you're making a big deal out of for one you approached me two you don't want to spend like money that's fine we can go to the motherfucking park and walk like you don't but have you, to spend money now you're money. speaking about you we talk I'm talking about a percentage of women yeah that's you see what I'm personally. saying you personally like you will be like the, the nigga that approached you gonna be like ah Nigga, I done came up, Joe. She's simple. You know what I'm saying? And then you grow into that. But most chicks, when you cut, but the, the music tell you real bad, bitch. The music tell you what see, they see, for. See, I'm going to cut you off right there. I'm going to cut you off right there because I know I am not a bad bitch. Okay? I am an average bitch. Uh, so I got to think a mindset of an average bitch. Hey, you and know your lane in what position that you You play. goddamn right. You goddamn right. Because I'm an average nigga, so goddamn, I stay in my lead. You dig me? Shit. Hey, same here, man. Average you know what I mean? Dude, you know. like, and but I, to me, my, my bitch a bad bitch, though. To me, fuck what y'all heard. See, I, I can let my nigga build me up and make me feel like a bad bitch, but I just understand, like, how society is. Yeah, and, yeah. like, I know that, like, to somebody looking on the outside in, I probably wouldn't be a bad bitch. Because the my, world ain't real no more. Exa shit. And, like, they don't know me. My nigga knows me. My nigga knows that I'm a whole shit down. Like, aside from looks and everything, I can hold myself down. Like, I can take care of shit. I have goals and ambitions. So, like, in that aspect, Yes, I do feel like I'm a bad bitch, but the masses don't know that. All they see is this ass and these titties, you know. So, yeah, I did. So yeah. Yeah, and 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 for me, uh, this is why I was kind of hesitant. Well, not really hesitant, but I was like, man, I don't even know if I would be a good fit for your platform because me, like, I, I'm not like my my life wasn't really too much of sex, you know. It was there. And I wanted it, <laughs> but but I, oh, was, I had a big gap in my shit too. Oh, oh, <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> big, big gap goes too, but I but before you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I had my I had my kids young though. Oh, I had like okay. yeah, I had four kids before I was 18. Oh, you know what I'm sure. saying? So Little daddy. yeah, so I was you know what I mean? 
So I've been, you know what I mean? And then, so that whole little time, and then when I came home, like, you know, experiences and experiences, the stories be wild. If you really think about it as a young man, I, and I say this, and I, in all due respect to your wife, but in your younger days when you were single or whatever, you'd be like, did I fuck something last night? <laughs> you ever woke up like that? Like, damn, I, I remember I was talking with it, bitch, but did I fuck something last night? And you probably did, but you don't remember. That's a story. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But you said you weren't very sexual growing up or anything? Nah, not really, because nobody really taught me, man. Like, nobody really taught me how to talk to females and how to close with females. Oh, yeah. Cause, that's the, yeah. Because most. That's the close, yeah, the closer. Yeah, the closer is the main. You got to, that's the hardest thing for a dude. Because you don't know what work with the close. Like, I struck. It's funny you say that, because I think back, like, now when I was young. Yes, that was the learning how to be a closer. Yeah. You're you know talking what I'm to a bitch all night in the club, and you think. <laughs> and don't know how to close. Pussy and then she like, don't leave with her friends. I remember yeah. when I was. I remember when I was like, like eighth grade, like high school. I, I asked my dad, like, bro, like I got her, like I got every, like look, pop, like I just don't know what to do now. Like help, show me how to close the deal. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And um, because the thing is, I, I don't got a problem walking up to a female and talking to them, or a female talking to me. Because su surprisingly, that's happened. Mm -hmm. Without me even trying. Don't be surprised. Be confident. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. That's what I've learned later on in life and shit. But when they did, when, when the ball was rolling, I just didn't know how to close. Yeah. And, and there would be times where that girl that I was trying to close with would <laughs> walk with somebody else. Bro. Yeah. Well, she would try to, she would drop the hints like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? The move, but you be kind of, you be so sad, you be motherfucking nervous in your head. Yeah. Like, damn, do I go on? Go on and she's just, I'm not going to lie. Out. I'm glad that I'm a bitch and not a nigga because bitches are intimidating. And, like, I would probably fuck with bitches more, but, like, I don't know what to say either. Yeah. It's difficult talking to bitches. If, you know the weight that will be taken off a man's shoulder that when they get to that point, if a woman, because sometimes, a, I promise you, I don't know, but me, I like when my girl come in there and grab my dick, be like, give me some of this motherfucker. I, I get yeah. giddy and be like, okay. Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah. If a girl comes up to me and, like, fucking. Like, let me know what you rap, want. Like, like no, yeah, no. it's like, great. Like, shit, please do. <laughs> Dudes do say that. But no, I, I didn't, like, necessarily grow up, like, being sexual. Uh, I didn't lose my virginity until I was, like, 16 or 17. Oh, but, shit. but baby, shit, I was, when I lost that motherfucker, bitch went crazy. I was three kids <laughs> in the game at 17. Yeah. <laughs> well, one on the way. Probably working on baby number four. Yeah. <laughs> well, shit, yeah. Like, and uh, on our new episode that we're actually going to drop this Friday, you guys should tune in. Um, I actually tell the story about, uh, and this was maybe like two dudes after like the person I lost my virginity to. How I fucked a friend group. Um, How you... Wait, what? I fucked a friend group. Oh. Um, <laughs> so... Uh, they didn't jeer out. She just fucked Not them. at the same the, time, She just fucked but, the crew oh. separately. But would I be opposed to at the same time? No, I wouldn't be. Ooh. Um, Fans no. only content. A exactly. <laughs> no, 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 no. I try to say solo because dudes are fucking weird on OnlyFans. They're all like, "Yeah, let's let's do a video together. You will make more money like that. Come on, like, like nigga, I don't want to fuck you. Yeah, I don't want to fuck you, and I don't need the extra money. Like, my OnlyFans is fine. Like, it's not like it's my only source of income. Like, you know. And I and I feel like you you. You don't need one specific guy. You can do it with any guy. Or or just exactly. toys. Toys. That's usually what I do, honestly. Um, but, you know, I'll spice it up. Throw it a little video <laughs> every now and then. But, uh, no, I honestly don't like posting that shit. I keep it for my personal. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Wait, so is it still active for your fans only? Yeah, because my, uh, my subscription is free. But uh, I don't really post on there that much. But I do, like... If there's a new person that comes on, I'll send them some, like, you know, some shit that I already got, you know, locked in. Um, because my thing is, if I'm not posting, whatever, niggas still gonna buy shit. Yeah, that's, yeah, sure. You know, that's like residual income. Niggas Fuck around. For what they want. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> nah, no, post some foot. 
foot pics. See, that's the thing though. My oh, feet not pretty. I got chunky little feet. But it don't make no <laughs> difference, motherfuckers. That like these, like, like no bullshit. I be trying to get my motherfucking girl to do that shit. I know it's bad. <laughs> Let's put the motherfucking pretty ass feet out there. Check this money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From what I heard, man, it doesn't even <laughs> matter about how pretty the. Well, I mean, maybe. If maybe, the, maybe. Some th- it is it is very diverse because also too um, for a while uh, <laughs> I did like a phone sex operator. What? Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and people are definitely into some crazy shit. Like as yeah. far as the feet thing, the feet don't even have to be clean. You could go walk outside and take pictures of your dirty feet, and people will like that. People. Um, and to me, that shit is just nasty. I guess I. I no think friend. it's nasty as fuck too. Like, you dirty motherfucker! I don't want to look at your dirty. Ass. I know, feet, right? <laughs> Don't put your dirty ass feet on me. What like, type of nigga will want dirty feet on his dick, nigga? That speaks <laughs> wonderful. That speaks horrendous about your fucking hygiene. That's that oozy one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, I've definitely, I've definitely uh, done some out of there uh, different things, but um, I want to start going to more to like sex parties and stuff like that too because I be into some nasty shit but don't, don't I can't throw this nasty motherfucker on everybody you know yeah. see that's why you gotta hurry up and goddamn get off the market man so you can present that shit like me I be presenting that shit like a little kid like hey babe you, know, you wanna make man, a video yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. I don't feel like Rockford has any like sex parties, but I may be wrong. Okay, you know, so y'all um, need to go before on I, before I was oh, shit. <laughs> before I was single. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like Rockford, Rockford low key got a lot of shit out here. I'm in a relationship now, so I don't be around those type of circles and shit like that no more. But when I first came, when I first moved to this city, that's what I was on. Like. I was they Rockford got a lot of motherfucking swinger spots. Really, it's a whole bunch of fucking yes. <laughs> Holy shit! Yes, you'll be fucking surprised with uh, the fuck you. I was at a bar one time, man. You know what I'm saying, Bailey? First, I'm gonna say I love you. You know what I'm saying? This is a long time ago. <laughs> but I was in a bar one time out here. I'm gonna keep the name of the bar anonymous. But a motherfucker drove on me, man. A motherfucker and his wife drove on me, bro. And they invited me to a motherfucking party. They been motherfucking married for like 25 years. Shorty never been with a black dude before. It's always been a fantasy. Not her they getting her like, man you know dingo on. Man, God damn it. Listen here. And these motherfuckers videotape, man. Yeah, and fuck the shit out of his wife while he recorded. Yo. What yo, the I'm down with that. I'm down with that. Got down with they, that. they took me to some places. They be having a lot of motherfucking costume parties and shit that turn into sex parties. Low key out there. Yeah, y'all need, y'all need to y'all need to go on fetlife.com <laughs> and create an account. There's people you working with every day. Literally, like literally, the reason that I found out about FetLife is that gas station that we met. The my coworker, he told me about how him and his girlfriend went to a sex party in Chicago. And I was like, oh, you know, that's cool. Like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> and then he's like, yeah, like I because we have a fet life and we like, you know, they have like a board of Chicago, different events each Elmhurst, month. Yeah. And Elvedere. he was like, yeah, you should add me on there, which I didn't know what it really was at the time, but like it's yeah. wild. Like niggas be having dick pics as their like as their profile picture. Whoa, yeah. Whole fucking couples, man. Yeah. Whole fuck, like yo, I'm talking about like a motherfucker just sit up here, got his whole motherfucking dick in the cage. Because his wife said, you know what I'm saying? Like, this the type of shit. I'm like, the fuck is going on? <laughs> I was like, yo, I had to call a couple of my homies. Like, well, nigga, you ain't finna believe this shit. Pull up on me, yo. It's buzzing right now. We can fuck everything. <laughs> Dude, that's wild. Because, again, you know, uh, from what I know, I know there's, like, only, like, two sex shops in Rockford. The one by Valley Produce and the one over by uh, Best Buy. Child, let me tell you. So when I was younger, I didn't really, I didn't grow up in Rockford. Like I said, I grew up in South Beloit. Yeah, yeah. Um, and my mom and them used to, my cousin used to talk to, me, tell me about how when he was younger, he used to go to Chantilly Lace and like sell them like candy bars and shit. And I was like, oh, so I was trying to find like sex shops in Rockford with my friend the one day. So we went to Chantilly Lace. Um, and we're looking around in the front and we're like, they don't have that much product. Like it's weird because they got like 
10 things in here like what the fuck because it's a whole house exactly and i did not know that yes they got busted recently yeah (laughs) (laughs) chad tilly les was they was looking at us like bitches you the police i'm like what the fuck it's a fucking whole house yes yeah you go in that motherfucking goddamn it they line the bitches up and you tell the bitch like okay you know i want you to wear this lingerie so that's the fleet right there so they say okay 45 dollars for for 30 minutes. Now, when you get behind that goddamn door, shorty going to say, God damn it, 200 for this pussy. was going bust it all. <laughs> it was a whole, that's, that's what they got busted for, running the goddamn whole house. They got the champagne yeah. room in there. Shit. Oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> mm-hmm. I love learning. I love learning about new shit about Rockford. Every day, dude. I'm like, it's definitely doing this show and like connecting with people. I've definitely learned you find a, lot. a lot of shit. You, yeah, you find out a lot of shit about this town. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and not just this town, bro. Like, but uh, like uh, neighbor towns. As yeah, well. no, yeah, neighbor towns as well. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, you find you definitely you definitely run into some shit out of this <laughs> Yeah, I like you said. I definitely ran into some. Oh, <laughs> I just, stum- I just yeah. stumbled into some shit. Like, oh damn. This- let me remember what it makes that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. So, yeah, uh, but uh, are we are we out of time? Are we about to wrap up? Like, what's our time? Um, and we still got 10 minutes okay. for, for that hour. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to wet my whistle. <laughs> yeah, I just see But, yeah, out. no, I know that you were, like, a little apprehensive about, like, trying to come on our show because you felt like, like, our audiences are probably pretty different, but that doesn't mean that, like, they can't cross over, like, yeah, into yeah. each other. But, um, it, honestly, because of where we live and the fact that, like, it's hard to get, like, swingers or people that are a part of, like, the lifestyle yeah. um, to they come on to the show, like, quiet. we... We got we we got to get average people and like what I my goal is to like get y'all to come out of your shell you know like if you do feel comfortable with talking about like different shit like I want to like bring that out of you because I feel like what we're doing is definitely not something that like other people are really doing around here nope. and if you see us around you if you see us around these various cities Lowe's Park Rockford Machesney Park at these bars with a camera. Just popping up asking you the freakiest shit you've ever done. Yeah. <laughs> please, 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 please entertain us and give us some answers on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah, I was uh, apprehensive, but I'm still down. Like, I'm still down to react and give you, like, bits of my sex life, whatever's left or whatever's there. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Not, not, what, not what's left, but uh, whatever's so there. So, I, I, what I have a question. To share. Yeah. I have a question, though. So, like, and you don't have to answer if you don't want to but um so like when you since you say that you a motherfucking decade in so like has your sex life changed has it gotten better has it like fall fallen off a lot of people say when they're in a relationship for a long time their sex life falls off get bored and get mundane because you know that person body well, not really, man. I still hard as a rock every time she touches me. Dude. Hey, that's what. I'm, that's how you know that shit be good. Yeah, and uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, it has gone a little down, but that's because I've gained weight. So, you know, when we're in it, man, I be getting tired, of, like, in five minutes. Man, hey, listen, <laughs> women don't be understanding, man. It's a lot of work for us to fuck. Make sure we keep an eye stroke right for you and keep them fucking positions. Oh, I, get, I do let me, know. Let me, throw, let me throw an extra 40 pounds on your arms like you holding up some thighs. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, it's like you holding a plank, but you got to move your pelvis. I, you gotta, again, check out my OnlyFans. But long I have a video where, like, I'm I'm like thrusting, like humping my pillow, and like I was like, God damn, no wonder hey. why niggas be coming fast. Cause I'm just like, let me get this shit over when with. When you about fucking windy, but you know you hit that motherfucking spot, so you can't stop, God damn it, and you hop for the bus out your chest. Yeah. See, and niggas be wanting bitches to ride dick, but God damn, my thighs. Let's just bust this thing out. Let's give each other about. As long as we can get like 10 minutes me on top, 10 minutes you on top, 10 minutes me knocking that motherfucker back from the back. (laughs) You tripping. You got got three sex minutes, which which (laughs) equals like, uh, like, like 75 seconds. You got three (laughs) sex minutes. You know what I mean? Like, shit, you got to find that motherfucking, you know, you got to find it. (laughs) 
I mean, I ain't no lazy fuck though. Like when yeah. I'm, I when my girl don't when my girl don't top, I ain't like like I'm I'm with this shit. Like I'm yeah. <clears throat> I'm, I'm I'm fucking back because this shit just like it sound yeah. it sound better. Me listen, me and fuck off sound. True. Not True. the macaroni sound. Yeah, we yeah, fuck off. We, we fuck off. Me and fuck off sound. Once once we hear that motherfucker it's like it's yeah. over with. It's over with. <laughs> A, I know I'm doing the job if I'm making macaroni. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, damn, right. <laughs> damn right. Damn right. You know, that's why a lot of bitches, like, well, for, like, me personally, for a long time, I thought that, like, I, something was wrong with me um, because, like, my shit would be dry sometimes when I would fuck it be saying bucket coochie. And I'm like, no, niggas just want to jump into sex. I need foreplay. No, I need to yeah. kiss. Touch yeah. my booty. Yeah, touch something. Yeah, you got to. You know? But, hey, but you know, that works, so, that works both sides, though, because sometimes comfortably in the, you've been in a relationship with a while, God damn it, sometimes she be slipping on the foreplay, too. God damn it, this bitch ain't going to get I want to fuck too, but this bitch ain't going to get hard. I'm sucking dick for 30 yeah. seconds. You know what I'm saying? This bitch, this bitch ain't going to get hard. It's the fourth time this week that I suck dick you only get 30 second hand. You better play with this motherfucker, <laughs> caress this motherfucker, something, baby, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You wanted, you did, you initiated the goddamn go and take off. Because when I initiated, I come in that motherfucker face first, dive in, goddamn. Yeah. And uh, there's a big difference when me and my girl started dating, like, at first when we started dating, bro, I would try to at least do 20 to 30 minutes. You want to put, you want to put the best dick down. Yeah. You know I know, <laughs> I know. The number one rule. Listen, when you know, when you know, you got somebody you with. I mean, I'm gonna tell you, as I do this, like, listen. When I first got with my girl, I knew I wanted, to, I wanted to stand up it. I want, I wanted her the best me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah, yeah. As a man, you know that first nut got a mind of his own. You know what I mean? So I <laughs> pre, I pregame. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I pregame. Went on while I was in the shower, get ready. I uh, rub one out. So when I got there. Just in case shit went that way, I was on nut number two already. Yeah. So she finna get the best of me. So I understand, my dude, when you looking like you just got out the shower. Yeah. You put where you standing there like, ah. She like, God ah, damn. Dude, <laughs> shit, you're not, man. I, I had done that pregame before. <laughs> and there was like a few times, bro, where I still came within like five minutes, bro. Damn. Oh Pussy must have been cool. Nah, sometimes like, like, like nah, I, I, that happened to me like, that happened to me like three times. I always say like I done pre and still got like I, I still got to be like, God damn, like what the fuck that queen doing? <laughs> no, <man. laughs> Look at you busting like you got a whole load of this bitch. I ain't. But that's because a nigga don't be expecting that shit to be true. That yeah, when he hit yeah. that motherfucker and it's that hot, that motherfucker wet, God damn it, that dick be like, God damn, shout it. Yeah, bro. BT yeah. dubs, not all bitches wanna fuck forever. Cause like you can hit me with a solid 20 minutes but that and first I'm, but that first fuck though i don't give a fuck what that first sexual encounter i don't give a fuck that is that is determining whether a nigga gonna be able to get the pussy again if he gonna get a call right. back yeah. you know what i'm saying so if the, <laughs> the call back i don't give a fuck like listen <laughs> you, if you got the job, Rogers, you know what I'm <laughs> so let's just be real right you meet the nigga y'all vibe is right you know what I'm saying? Everything is clicking. Nigga got the nice, the, the, the dick size you looking for and everything. His stroke was right and everything. But God damn it, the nigga came in maybe, God damn it, three minutes. You know what I'm saying? I'm, and you like, I'm going to rub your head and, and tell you, like, let's go damn. back at you know it in about 30 minutes. Now, Ooh, now okay. me, you know what I'm saying? See, that now, that's some G shit. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was really, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't been time with a nut. I, I done got into the pussy like, oh shit, try to like get up out the pussy, like let my body readjust to this shit. <laughs> but he was all, it was already too much. And it was like, I had to play this shit out like. Shorty, you ain't ready for this dick for real. Bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just to, just, but, but let me take you to Walgreens got, real quick so I can get you a plane. Man, man. nah. But good, <laughs> good thing I got good recovery time, though. But it has been in my old... I've Like, shorty, look, I'm my bad. Like, look, look, this not me. I just wasn't expecting this. <laughs> yeah. I promise you. Let's get just give me a give me a hot give me about five minutes. I promise you my recovery time, baby. All is great. I just wasn't expecting this. Give me about five minutes. And I'm finna dick you down. I promise you. See, it, but it all depends it. on if the bitch likes you or not. Because if she don't really really like you like that, and she gave you the pussy and you fucked up. Oh, if, <laughs> it's a motherfucking rap, nigga. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> I mean, what I'm saying. I, I would it's imagine. a gamble. That's what that's why it's a gamble yeah, for true. me. Just imagine if motherfucking a dude did that. He get inside the motherfucking pussy like, shorty, you wet, but this shit ain't even really like that. You're going to be like, <laughs> see, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, damn, like, like, because I've, I've, I've been in some pussy before, and shorty was screaming her fucking head off, bro. 
and I ain't saying I ain't got the biggest dick in the world, but I know I'm working with some lumpers. You dig? Yeah. I ain't feel a wall in this motherfucker. Ooh. You hear me? And I just stopped, like, like, oh, shit. fuck you doing all this screaming for? Like, I don't even feel shit in here, bitch. Like, I think like, instinctively women just moan just because, like, we're, like, programmed to. Like, nah, give me, like, that, that shit. She got mad at me. Fuck you mean? I know my pussy. Like, bad this shit. I'm like, bitch, so that motherfucker drop ship anchor in this motherfucker. This bitch walked through. It's like a, it's like a black hole in this motherfucker, baby. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I, I would have probably said something after. Nah, no, I, 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 I've I been getting my dicks up. And, like, being, t- like, I met this one girl, bro. I was probably, you know, I was younger. But I was. You know, you young, dick hard as hell. I pull my, I pull, pull my pants down. I dick hard. Maybe thirty seconds of her. She, she, she want to kiss around the dick. My dick got soft. I'm sure this ain't me. Yeah. Just go on ahead. You know what I mean? Like you playing with this motherfucker. Like yeah. I'm honest, cause I'm not, cause I come, I come to the table like, look, I know I eat good pussy, but it might not be your type. Right. Mm. Yeah. You gotta let me know, baby. Talk to me while I'm down here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I wanna give you, I wanna make sure it's just as satisfying for you as it is for me. No. You see what I'm saying? But if that shit ain't hitting on nothing, I will stop. I'm going to tell you. Oh, yeah, that shit, baby, this shit's some trash. Because <laughs> yeah. I expect her. you to tell me it's some trash. You gotta hit her with that. What you about to do? I done got into some <laughs> I done got into some pussy and, and knew when I got into the pussy, like I ain't even got no dip for this bitch. <laughs> 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 but I got that bitch. I'm let me get <laughs> switch it this way. Oh, yeah, now nah, I got it. Now nah, she finna feel me now. You know what I'm saying? Like, some bitches just got big pussies, though. But that bitch ain't had no wall. <laughs> some bitches do got big pussies. Most bitches don't like hearing that shit. I'm real with you. Some of you do bitches you mean just got fat big pussy pussies. or like the pussy hole just big? Nah, just like, yeah, just, just big pussies. Just like, not. I just dip between the fat pussy and like a bit. Some bitches just got like the gap, the gap between a woman's leg, I believe, like the, the, the wider the gap, the oh, the looser the pussy. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Damn. The smaller the gap, the because t- the pussy sit up high. Like a pussy sit high or pussy sit low. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. so, shit. Yeah, but some women out there just got. I'm big good. Pussy. My thighs touch. So, <laughs> and as you see, I got some big hands. You know what I'm saying? My mom does. I done had some bitches that I couldn't put just one finger in, oh. and then I done had some bitches that I done put four in that motherfucker, and the bitch like give me more, like some. And I'm I'm looking like yeah, bitch, all this, bro, you got big hands. That's what I'm saying. Like like, like I done been into like like damn, you big pussy bitch. Like I call my homie like this bitch got a big ass pussy boy. I'm Fuck though, but she had a big pussy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. that's wild. That's wild. Man. Yeah, we, we're a little wild, but uh, yeah. And you guys can definitely check this out. They guys, they do this every Friday, I believe. Yep. Every Friday. Every Friday, five o'clock ish. Um, I try to get it on five o'clock, but sometimes life be life in. No, yeah. yeah. Overtime, work, you know what I'm saying? Still gotta pay the bills, but most definitely every Friday around yeah. five is yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And oh yeah, yeah. Definitely look in the description below. I'll have a link for them down so you guys can check it out. Yeah. You guys can find me on Instagram at Tashi33. And me, hold on, give me one, give me one. I'll be having to give the Instagram because I'm the one that edits the videos and he don't be knowing. I, I don't even know what my Instagram is. And I'm, it's chill.2 underscore 4 underscore 14. And I created the motherfucker, but I don't get asked that much for it. So I really don't know it like that. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, catch us every motherfucking Friday. You can catch us on motherfucking iTunes, Spotify, Apple Music, uh, mm-hmm. Amazon Playlist, uh, iHeart uh, Radio, yeah. all that shit. Yeah, guys, and just like that, stay tuned and stay safe.